In order to approach this question, we first need to understand the information that we're provided with. We know that A and B are both positive integers. And we also know that they must satisfy this inequality that one over A plus one over B must be less than two. And before we move into the answer choices, I just wanna bring up the point that if A is equal to B, and this is equal to one, that we would plug these values into the inequality. So one over one plus one over one would actually equal to two and it wouldn't satisfy the inequality. Therefore, this means that at least A or B must be greater than one in order to satisfy the inequality. And we'll use this information moving forward. So to continue the question, we need to figure out which of the following must be true. And the best way to figure this out is to plug in theoretical values of A and B to see if they satisfy the inequality presented. So we'll start with answer choice A. So theoretically, if we picked two for A plus one for B, this would not be greater than four. So we know that answer choice A is incorrect. So now we'll move on to answer choice B. So we could have two times one, and this is in fact greater than one. So this could be our correct answer choice. And if we had time, we would move on to disprove the remaining answer choices, which we will in this case. So we'll circle this one as a tentative because we didn't go through more than one situation, so it could be disproved or it could not be. So move on to answer choice C. And the example I'm going to use here is if A is equal to one, as we've been using, equal to one, and B is equal to two. So we would have in this situation one over two plus two over one is less than one, which it's not, this is incorrect. So we know that answer choice C is also incorrect. And then moving on to answer choice D, we can see that if A was actually equal to B, so say that A is equal to two and B is equal to two, then we'd have two minus two squared is greater than zero. And this is incorrect because two minus two is zero and zero squared is not greater than zero. So we know that choice D is also incorrect. This brings us to choice E. And we know that any positive integer, we can put in as many examples as we want, but any positive integer summed together with another positive integer squared is never going to be less than zero. It's always going to be a positive number. Therefore, we can eliminate answer choice E. So now moving back, we can confirm that answer choice B is in fact our correct answer.